Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another Facebook Friday, Frilici Friday. Is everybody ready? Have you guys had a good week? Oh, there's always so much going on, isn't there? I was thinking, you know, why is, does it feel like things like um, just keep going and going and going? And I realized, you know, um, my son Cade is in basketball season right now and we've had two games every single week this entire month of January. And so that's two nights out of the week that generally, well, sometimes we're in town because it's a local game and sometimes we're traveling and that takes up the whole night then, especially because it seems like every time we have an away game, it has to snow. So hi, Nikki, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Hi, Marianne, I'm glad you guys found everybody, found me, found Facebook Live, all right? So yeah, it's just been crazy, like crazy week. Hopefully everybody else has had a good week. Um, Lily has dance coming up. That's my daughter, Lily, on um, Sunday. We've got a big, it's called the Elite Experience. She's on, um, it's called the Elite Dance Team. Um, so anyway, this is kind of their first uh, performance of all of their competition dances. That's on Sunday, so it's great. They do it here locally in Alma. So grandmas and grandpas and friends and family that don't want to travel to the competitions that are usually, you know, a couple of hours away and lots of times sitting and watching, you know, lots of dancing. This is a great way for them to be able to come right here in town and be able to watch them, see all their competition dances. And hey, good morning, Sandra. It's a great, hi Kim, how are you? Um, yeah, it's just a great, um, a great experience for them too to get up on stage and you know get ready to dance and show people what they're doing this season so yeah and I want to say too if anybody is new to Facebook live either on here hi Sharon oh my gosh so many people are here yay I love as many people as possible to be on live but I know a lot of people can't make it um, you know to the live video 1130 on Friday is kind of a weird time for some people so if you're new if you're watching later on Facebook or on YouTube make sure you say hello I love knowing who's watching. It's so fun for me to kind of um, meet new people and learn new names. And yes, Sharon's saying, yes, she finally gets to watch the live. Maybe it's because you've retired from your other, your WW career, I think. Maybe, Sharon, is that it? That you've got a little more free time on your hands. So yeah, I'm glad you can watch live. Um, but like I was saying, if you're new to either the Facebook Live or you're watching on YouTube, make sure you say hello. I like I just can't say enough how much I love knowing who's watching because I see these numbers, you know, that people are watching, and I'm like, I don't know who everybody is, and I want to know who you know who's watching. So please say hello, leave a comment. Um, yeah, and hi Tammy, how are you? See, just like everybody's doing, you can comment later too. So if you're watching later on Facebook Live, make your comments because your name goes in. In the drawing that we're going to do in just a minute for every single comment from now all the way up until next Thursday night when I'm uh, you know finishing prep for the next Friday's Facebook live <laughs> yeah that's cute the lives are more fun I'm sure because you yeah it can be more interactive I think um, but since it doesn't always work for everybody I just I'm encouraging especially new people that maybe are a little bit shy or think oh I shouldn't comment because I know I feel like that a lot of times too please don't feel like that I want everybody to comment and share and have a great time so all right, um, I think I've babbled long enough. Um, I think we are ready to do our first drawing. Now I have to tell you guys, this um, this is like super full. This is probably the most full it's ever been. So I'm gonna try my best to get these all, actually I'm gonna put it down on the table because I'm afraid if I have it like, um, you know, in the air, I'm gonna drop and I'll make sure before um, I actually do the drawing. But let's see, let me show you guys. I'm kind of getting those shaken up a little bit. Um, these were the, the super teeny tiny little, the needlepoint nook mini buttons. So I don't think I'm gonna pull them out of the package, um, but you can kind of, in the right light, can you guys see? There's kind of, I'm gonna call it petal pink. Um, it's kind of a gray or a tan, maybe crumb cake and like a vanilla color, but super, super teeny tiny. Hi Sandra, how are you doing today? Um, yeah, but they're oh, they're just so cute. So this is what we're gonna draw for. So again, like I said, if you're new, cause I go through this so fast, cause I think oh, everybody knows, but if you're new, you don't necessarily know. So your name goes in this awesome paper pumpkin basket. You get one entry for commenting anytime on either this Facebook group right now, if you watch now or later, I share it to our uh, 
Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio business page. So if you comment or share on there as well, your name also goes in here. One entry for commenting, three entries for sharing the video anytime between now and next Thursday. You also, if you're brand new to me and you have not subscribed to email yet, you get three entries if you sign up for my email list. You can find that link, everything you can find at gatheringinspiration.com if you forget, you know, where to go to find links, just go there because everything is there. Hi Roseanne, how are you? And then the other thing that I'm doing is I'm gonna pick one random day, like this week I picked Friday from last week was my random day. So any post that I did on Friday, if you commented or shared on either the Stamp Studio group or the business page, you get three more entries in this drawing. So that's why it's so high. I'm actually doing, I have to tell you guys, so my niece, Emma, who is 16 years old. Hi, Philomena, how are you? She helped me do this awesome video. I gave her a bunch of pictures and I filmed a little bit talking, which I could not stand. I had to film and refilm and refilm and I'm not even that thrilled. It's funny because on the video, I my eyes kind of like bug out of my head when I'm first saying hello and my kids both were like, whoa, mom, what are you doing? So it's kind of funny, but Overall, I loved the video that she put together. So check it out. It's on my YouTube channel. It's probably the easiest place to find it. But I'm, I'm sharing that on Facebook, and so I'm trying to meet new people, you know, and help grow the business. So that's why this is so full, too, because I had a whole bunch of people, um, new people, sign up for my email list from that marketing that I'm doing on Facebook. So check that out. I would love, if you are enjoying this, not only sharing this Facebook Live video, but if you go to Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio on YouTube, you can find that video. It's like a welcome video. Oh, thank you, Nikki, you, you liked it. It's my, my niece, she just did such a great job. She's like this wizard at editing. And it's funny because she and my daughter Lily had a project they had to do um, like back last winter. Well, no, whatever, before Christmas is what I'm trying to say. And they showed me this video. They did a video of, they both danced, so they did a video on their dance studio and kind of what it means to them to be a part of this group and dancing. And so they did a bunch of kind of quick screenshots throughout the studio. They did little interviews with the girls. They had awesome music playing. It was so good. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, ah, uh, ladies, you need to help me do a video for this too. So yeah, check it out. It's on the um, YouTube channel. And what I was trying to say was um, if you enjoy it, share it if you would please because I think that'll be a great way for other people to come join us as well so okay with all that being said let's do the drawing all right and thank you Nikki I'm so glad you enjoyed that I'm curious to know how you saw it did it because I'm, I'm like I said I'm doing advertising on Facebook so I wonder if it just popped up in your news feed or if you found it on the YouTube channel. Will you let me know? Because I'm, I'm curious to, you know, Facebook decides who you, who they show that to based on, you know, parameters that I put in there for advertising. But I'm curious to know if you saw it on Facebook or if it was on, if you found it on YouTube. So anyway, plus I think I've shared it a few times too. So maybe you guys just saw it that way. Okay. I think these are pretty well shaken up. Okay, I'm digging all around. Okay, let's see, I have one in my hand. I do, I do, I do. Wait, no, I have two. Okay, drop one. Ooh, okay, Tammy Trebesh. So she's somebody new because I don't recognize her name and that's not even gonna show up anywhere very well. Tammy, there it is, Tammy Trebesh. I think you say your name, T-R-E-B-E-S-C-H. She is the winner of those super cute little the needlepoint nook mini buttons. So I just have to make sure I have her address. And then, um, and if I don't, Tammy, and you're watching, um, just put a comment on here or send me a private message. Oh, Nikki, you're saying it, it, yes, okay. So you subscribe to the YouTube channel, so it alerted you. Okay, well that's good too. Any way that I can get the info out to people, I'm happy. I'm happy about that. So, okay, um, let me see. I think I, yeah, I talked about all of that. All right, so do you guys wanna know what we are gonna give away this week? So, cause it's getting closer to Valentine's Day, right? So these are super cute. The, um, what are they called? The heart epoxy droplets. Ooh, in the right light and just the right glare, we can see those, right? So hearts, they're kind of a clear heart and there are three different sizes. How many of them are there? 72. Oh, I was gonna try to do math, but what's 72 divided by three? I don't know. Um, 
20, well, about 25 or 26, right? So you get 25 or 26 of like small, medium, and large. It's got to be something like that. Anyway, so yeah, they're super cute. And the fun thing is, so there's a little heart stamp that is about the size of the largest. I'm trying to get that in the, uh, there. There we go. The largest heart. There is a little stamp in that meant to be stamp set that I have been stamping that with kind of a pretty red, maybe the lovely lipstick, right? And then you put that little clear heart epoxy droplet over top of it. It's really cute. So this is what we're going to give away. One entry for commenting, three entries if you share this Facebook Live video here or on the Facebook business page, right? Also commenting and sharing on YouTube. I'm checking those as well. So if you comment and share on YouTube, you get the one entry and the three entries. Um, subscribe to my email channel, another three entries, and then that one random day and you get three more entries for commenting or sharing. So that's my kind of way of um, encouraging you to comment and share all the time because you never know what day I'm going to pick, right? So that's, we'll draw for these next week, okay? On next Friday's Facebook Live. Um, all right, mm, my notes, if you guys could see. Okay, Oh, Marianne saying that she saw those in the catalog and they look so pretty. Well, you never know. You might be the lucky winner next week, Miss Marianne. So maybe you'll be getting those. Yeah, they're really pretty. They have um, that little glue dot behind them. It's probably in the shape of a heart, actually, is what I'm realizing. Um, and so they stick perfectly to anything that you put them on. And they're not super, like, raised. It's almost like you used your fine tip glue pen and put a little bit of gloss over a heart, but it's, like, in the perfect shape of a heart. So they're good. They're not super, you know, bumpy so they're easy to mail too if you put them on something so okay um I just have to make sure I haven't missed anything and it's hard to talk and read at the same time so let's see yep I think I'm good oh I want to give a quick shout out we have some new ink inspired stampers new friends that have bought the starter kit during celebration so I want to say a welcome to Linda Turner Tammy Stewart Susie Meekomer and Roseanne Lafreniere. We're so glad to have you as a part of our group. I would love to get many, many more Inkspired Stampers into our group, especially with that awesome starter kit deal right now, right during celebration. So just make sure if you are interested, I have to, I just have to tell about it one more time because it's such a good deal. And obviously these ladies all thought so too, right? So you pick $175 in product. You can pick anything you want out of either the occasions catalog or the annual catalog it you're going to get to close to 175 you cannot go over because you can't pay the difference so you know 174 dollars and 25 cents or whatever get there as close as you can you pay only 99 dollars plus sales tax no shipping if you want the craft and carry tote which one of these days i'm going to remember to grab it from the studio and bring it here to show again it's an awesome tote that fits a ton of product right in the bag so if you go to like crafting weekends it's a great way to like pack a bunch of stuff up and take with you or if you're just like traveling you know if you go away for the weekend and you want to bring some stuff to play with it's another great tote to put stuff in lots of zippers and pockets and places to keep things so if you want that you still pick 175 dollars in product you get the craft and carry tote but you pay 129 dollars instead of the 99 dollars plus sales tax and then the other awesome thing that you guys have to know about. So for example, Linda, Tammy, Susie, and Roseanne, they have all bought the starter kit. Now they can qualify for all the awesome demonstrator rewards. You get rewards based on sales from now until the end of March 31st, uh, and you get free product. I'm not gonna go through the numbers on those, but the big thing is, so for example, Roseanne, if she finds someone that wants to get the starter kit deal through her, that friend gets an awesome deal, right? And then Roseanne actually gets $25 in free product. She gets a free product credit for $25. If Roseanne finds two people that wanna get the awesome deal of the starter kit, she gets $125 in free product too. So it's like this huge win-win. So get the starter kit and then tell other people about the awesome deal you just got and then they can get that awesome deal and then you get more free stuff. So I just can't, I don't think people understand how easy it is. Now the one thing I did have a question about, someone said, you know, I signed someone up, they bought the starter kit, and I haven't gotten anything from Stampin' Up! yet, you know, about that $25 product credit. Hi, Karen, how are you? Um, it actually, you can't start redeeming those product credits until, I think it's like April 7th or 9th or something. So you have April to like, I think it's the, 
maybe the beginning of June. You have a couple months to use that product credit. And the one thing that's really cool is starting in May, we'll be able to order out of our next annual catalog. So I usually keep those product credits until I can order out of the new catalog in May, and then I can get new stuff for free. So very, very cool. So let me know if you have any questions. You guys know too, there's no pressure. Buy that starter kit, do whatever you want after that. Most people get the starter kit just because they want the awesome deal. They want to get that 20% off of everything. Karen, what are you saying? Oh, you finally got it to load. Yeah, I wonder, maybe you had like a funny internet connection because I think you said you had a problem last week too. Maybe have to look into that and see. Um, but yeah, like I said, no pressure with the starter kit. You can do whatever because people are, you know, they're like saying to me, is it okay? I just want to buy the kit. I don't really want to do classes or do a business or do Facebook lives like you do. You don't have to do any of that. If you want to, great. And I'm here to help you and support you in any of that. But you don't have to do any of that. Most people just, they call themselves like hobby demonstrators. They just, it's a hobby, right? They want to get the fun product at a discount. So that's what they do. And there's no shame in that. Most even top demonstrators, that's how they started too. And then they realized, hey, this is really fun and I wanna share this with lots of people and then, you know, it builds from there. So you never know. So let me know if you have any questions. I feel like I'm like, I just have to make sure everybody knows how awesome of a deal it is. So thank you for letting me blabber on about that, right? But make sure you share it. If you're if you're a demonstrator, I know I've got um, some of my downlines, some of my inspired stampers are watching right here and we'll watch later. So. Just know, share it with everybody. It's an awesome, awesome deal. And we're an awesome group to be a part of too. We have a separate Facebook group. We actually do um, group gatherings or meetings once a month on the third Tuesday of the month. That's local here in Alma. If you can't make it, I finally figured out how to do Facebook Lives down at the studio because our connection is kind of weird down there, but it's been working. So even if you can't come to the local um, Inkspired Stampers group gatherings, you can still be a part of it on Facebook. And we, you know, comments and interactions, and it's lots of fun. So lots of, yeah, just lots of great opportunities for you if you get that starter kit. So, okay. Um, and you know what, actually the other drawing that I normally do, I was gonna give away the, it's the classic garage designer series paper, but there weren't any online orders last week, so I can't give it away, which means, oh darn, I have to keep that. DSP all for myself, which I haven't even played with it yet. So that'll be fun. I've got some good ideas with that one coming up too. So, oh, thank you, Kim. She's saying that she has lots of fun in our group. And I agree, and thank you. I appreciate you saying that. And I'm glad you have fun too, Kim. Um, yeah, and if you ever have questions about what it means to be in our group, there are lots of other women that would love to share with you and tell you what it is and what it's not too. Because there's, you know, I always give lots of ideas of things that you could be doing to maybe, you know, create sales or classes or have kind of a business if you would like to, but there's never any pressure to. Um, but just try to feed everybody, right, with cute ideas and with um, kind of some more business-minded ideas as well, if you would like. So, um, okay, this week, Oh my gosh, you guys have to see this stamp set. Oh, and I forgot to bring it over, but okay, I'm gonna show you the stamp set first. This is what we're gonna give away this week if you put an online order in of at least $30 and use the host code CJFGUVAT. It's at gatheringinspiration.com if you forget that. I'll put it when we flip the camera down, I'll put it right, you know, so you guys can see it. Um, but basically use that host code, put an online order of at least $30 in between now and next Wednesday and your name goes in the drawing to win the Vibrant Vases stamp set. So can you guys, I'm gonna show you all the cute, so this one coordinates with, and I can't remember, the other vase stamp set that we have. Um, and the punch, the vase builder punch. So this works perfectly with that stamps, well, with that punch as well. I'm sure you could do some fun things with both of the um, images, you know, the images in this stamp set and the other one too. But so the sentiments are, celebrate every tiny victory. That's very cool. Thanks for understanding. Just for you, you are loved always. And then I love, can you guys see, Varied Vases. Yes, thank you, Marianne. That's the other name of the stamp set. So Varied Vases is from the annual catalog and their new Vibrant Vases is from the Occasions catalog. And what's really cool is, can you see, 
you don't have to do a bunch of coloring if you don't want to. So you could stamp like that very detailed base and then kind of add like a kind of a watercolor wash over top of that. How fun. And they've got three, actually all of them are like that really, aren't they? So you can color if you want to do the detailed coloring, but this stamp set is gonna allow you to not have to do any coloring if you don't want to. You just kind of stamp, see even like the flowers and then the um, kind of, oh, and yes, the punch works for this one too. And you know what? Let me, cause I have my catalog right here. I am about 90% positive, but I would hate to give you guys bad information. So I'm flipping to my catalog trying to find the vibrant vases because you guys know that right let me make sure yes it says it coordinates with the vases builder punch from the annual catalog on page 212 so do you guys know that that's something i always like to make sure to point out to people so here this is the stamp set in our occasions catalog on page 23 sorry okay but can you see the detail super tiny print down here it tells us it's the vibrant basis stamp set it gives me the item code it's 17 dollars. it tells me the clear blocks that you should have to be able to do your stamping well which are clear blocks a b and g it's 21 photopolymer stamps and they call it a two-step stamping stamp set which that makes sense because you're going to do um you know the the vase and then the coloring of the vase right the bottom thing the point of why I'm telling you all of this is in that teeny tiny little circle and it says coordinates with the vases builder punch on annual catalog page 212 now can you guys also see in the right light maybe you can see how that's kind of highlighted all of those things are like those flowers and those flowers are not but the vases and some of these other little guys are highlighted that means when it says whatever it's coordinating with when it's highlighted that's what punches or cuts it out so it'll tell you it coordinates with a punch or framelits um, and those are the things that you can cut out with either the punch or the framelits you don't have to do any fussy cutting with those so that's a really important thing to understand if you're a little bit newer to looking at these catalogs so, okay, oh, sorry, I gotta swipe this out of the way. You guys don't know, know this, but I just asked my sister if she wanted to go watch more basketball with me tonight, and she said, sure, in her text. So I gotta get that out of the way. You guys probably don't even know that's there, but it, it comes down on my phone and kind of, eh, I have to get it out of the way, basically. So, okay, let me know if you guys have any questions on that, but that's a great resource to understand. And the little AC, page 212, that means annual catalog because this is in our occasions catalog. And so a bunch of, well, not a bunch, but some of the products in here coordinate um, with annual catalog or AC products, okay? All right, so that's what we're gonna draw for next week is the Vibrant Vases stamp set. And it's funny how when I really take a good look at a lot of these, I'm like, oh, I really need this stamp set too. I can see a lot of fun possibilities like if you like to color there are lots of great opportunities to color but if you don't want to color it's not going to make you either to make it look really pretty so cool huh okay let's see what else what else <laughs> oh just quick reminders the next simple beautiful card class is it's the second wednesday of the month which is wednesday february 13th from 6 until 8 30 and then the following Friday, so two days later on Friday afternoon, because I have class Wednesday night, I tidy up and then leave it and come back on Friday afternoon. That's from 1 until 3 on February 15th. If you are not local to me and can't make it to the class, um, I have a host code, which I keep forgetting to tell you guys about, but it's in my email. If you are signed up for my email list, when you see the email about card class, if you can't come, I always put the um, host code that you can use. So basically, if you put an order in and use that host code that I give you associated with the class, then you get the projects for free. Um, so just know that. If ever you think, oh, I really wish I could come, but I'm too far away, 
put an order in, use the host code from class. And if you can always ask me, like if, if you're like, I don't know where to find that, I can't find the email, just, just email me or send me a Facebook message and I can give you the host code. And then that's how I know that you want the projects that we're making in class um, and I'll send those out to you after class. So that's an awesome deal, right? And soon, I can't say for sure, I have my next class to go. I thought I had it figured out and then actually some things are kind of almost not orderable maybe even I'm trying to remember because I read it late last night there are a couple like the butterfly duet punch and then um, the cake punch and I can't remember the name of it but I guess they have sold like really 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 well so I think they're not going to be orderable for a little while they have to get like a new shipment so I think they get those from China and there's some kind of delays in shipping and then with the Chinese New Year they said they're probably not going to be able to get those back in stock until like mid-March. So I thought I had my plan for what I was going to do for my next class to go and then that kind of threw a little monkey wrench in things. So I need to kind of rethink what I'm going to do. But I'll, I'll have information in the next little bit on the next class to go to. Okay. Um, all right. I think we are ready to turn the camera down okay oh oh yes sandra yeah i know the ribbon the celebration ribbon i'm so sorry if you guys did not get that ribbon um it's the organdy ribbon in those five different colors apparently they were like blown away by the response to that ribbon i guess because you got I mean, you got five bolts you got 25 yards of ribbon free with a 50 dollar order um so that's sold out so you cannot get that any longer the thing is though i know sandra i'm sad too the way i understood the post on um stampin up the website was you can't order it right now um, if you have ordered it and they told you it was on back order they're you know going to honor all of those orders when that shipment comes in but i think it might not be for a little while there's going to be probably a pretty brief period of time where once they fill all the back orders then they'll have some left over and if you get your order in right away you might st still be able to get that ribbon but they said it's you know on a while supplies last basis so you know i will let you guys know as soon as you can order that ribbon again and then if you want to get in there get your 50 dollars order in and get that ordered because then once that last shipment is you know sold out then it definitely won't be available but you still have a chance to get a little bit more ribbon so i know so maybe sandra if you didn't get it or didn't get enough i think you've got one more opportunity and everybody else know that too and you guys all know right i i I, sometimes I forget and I think everybody knows everything, but everybody knows about celebration, right? Hopefully. So that's the big promotion. Stampin' Up! started back in January, runs through the end of March. For every $50 in product that you order, you get to pick a free celebration item. So that's what we're talking about with this ribbon that I'm using a little bit still because I didn't realize I designed my projects um, before I knew. Oh, Karen's saying she has the ribbon on back order. So yours will be coming. This is one of them, though. This was the Daffodil Delight. Um, it's really pretty. Now I'm trying to, I'm drawing a blank on what it's even called. But anyway, it's the Celebration Ribbon. But you, so don't, you know, there are lots of other good things you can get during Celebration, too, with your $50 order. So, um, but yeah, just make sure you know that. And it will, like, if you go to StampinUp.com and go to put an order in, it won't let you like finish your order without getting your free item too. So stamp sets, card kits, um, there's actually some framelits if you put a hundred dollar order in. So lots of good stuff. And I know starting February 1st as demonstrators, we are going to be able to pre-order kind of a little second round of celebration items. So we'll find out what those are and start showing everybody so that, you know, you build excitement and you just can't wait to get those. And it's usually like mid-February that you can get those second round of celebration items, the second release. So I'll keep you posted on that too. Okay, so um, yeah, let's turn the camera down and I'm gonna show you guys some more good stuff. Okay, so turn your heads away for me. One moment, please. And we'll get resituated here. Okay, how's my ceiling look today, ladies? And my finger, right? Okay. All right, let's make sure we're even there. Okay, I'm gonna pull out that host code just so you guys have that handy. 
Again, if you're new to Facebook Lives, if you put an order in of at least $30 by next Wednesday, you get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate and your name goes in the drawing to win the Vibrant Vases stamp set. Okay? Then make sure you use the host code, the C-J-F-G-U-V-A-T. If you bump your order up to $50, you're going to get that free celebration item and you're also going to get a free embellishment from me. And let's see, Karen is <laughs> some lovely ceiling, huh, Miriam? <laughs> well, good. No cobwebs, I hope. Um, and let's see, Karen is asking when we can order, when can we order the pamphlets for that? Uh, probably like February 1st, when we can pre-order the new um, celebration items. I bet you can order those um, little pamphlets or brochures then too. I would keep an eye on the Stampin' Up! website. They'll have more details on there. Um, for us about that because I haven't seen anything yet, but I might have missed it. So check out the current updates on stampinup.com um, to learn more. Um, okay. Oh, so here, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Okay. So this was our make and take that we did. Is that all going to fit in there? I think it is. So usually every month at our Inkspired Stampers group gathering, we do um, like four projects. This month, instead of doing four projects, we did a whole sampler that features, have you guys been enjoying? So that product of the week over on, well, on our Facebook group, right, is the Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper. And you can see nine of the patterns. There are three more, kind of the backside of a couple of these that couldn't fit on here because then that would look funny. They have like three more up at the top or something, right? So there are a couple more patterns that are not featured on here. Oh, and then this is the ribbon, but don't love the ribbon too much, right? I mean, like I said, you might, you, there's still a chance you could get that ribbon, but I love, I love the designer series paper. Now it's black and white on one side and then kind of beautiful colors with butterfly and kind of some floral patterns. This one right here, we actually colored with our, this is light Highland Heather, uh, light, I believe Daffodil Delight and light Calypso Coral, our Stampin' Blends markers. We colored all of those. Um, oh, good, Kim's saying she's coming down to get her stuff today, yes, yeah, so she can put her sampler together. And Karen says she loves hers and has it framed. Yes, and actually, I meant to grab, I have a 12 by 12 frame down at the studio with a previous sampler in it, and I totally meant to grab that frame so I could put this in it. So it will be framed as soon as I get back down to the studio. But anyway, what else was I saying? So, oh, and then the other, these really cute, can you guys see the wooden? I'm gonna try to like lift this up and zoom in a little bit so you can see the wooden elements. Those are another item, the wooden elements. Oops, I'm like, what's going on? I got that paper there, too. So there is a cute little flower. There's a flower that's a little bit bigger than that, too, than this beautiful detailed. And actually, this is two. Can you see that? I didn't pull them apart, but you could have just an outline and then the other butterfly with all the detail. Here's another. Oops, that's not supposed to be right there. That little guy moved on me. Okay, get him fixed up. And then I love, oh, I love the detail on that little butterfly too. And there are more. I kind of picked a little sample and put them on here and then everybody else got kind of a variety of butterflies and flowers. But that's another item, these wooden butterfly elements that you can get for free during celebration with a $50 order. So a full pack of designer series paper, it's 12 by 12, which is what this piece of paper is, the white one is mounted on. So you get front and back of all nine of these plus three more patterns. That would be a surprise for you, right, if you haven't seen them. Um, but you get 12 sheets of 12 by 12, front and back, black and white on one side, colorful on another. That you can get for free with a $50 order. You can always get also get those little wooden um, butterfly elements. You get, I think, like five sheets of flowers and butterflies. So quite a few, a lot, really, of these wooden butterfly elements. Um, yeah, so awesome. I loved, this is just a great way to showcase, I think, the designer series paper and really give you a flavor for all the pretty patterns and colors that are on the paper, right? And like I said, hopefully you guys are enjoying that product of the week. I'm having so much fun with that because it really helps me focus on one product each week too. Um, 
and really kind of get into it and see all the possibilities of the paper or the stamp set or the suite, whatever we're looking at. So thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like that sampler. These are so popular right now too. And this is a great, I'll tell you guys. So these are basically the designer series paper is cut to three inches by three inches. And then my black cardstock behind it is just a quarter of an inch bigger. So three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then you just mount them and kind of kind of add some detail and some fun. Um, and you can, you can make these background instead of all black. You could do different colors if you wanted. Um, lots of possibilities. Basically, you get one 12 by 12 frame, put it on a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock, and you can make them. I have people that have made them for lots of different holidays and seasons, so they just take this one out and put the next one in. Like this is kind of a great spring Easter one. Um, you could do a Valentine one, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween. Oh, just um, the possibilities are endless, right? Summer fun. So yeah love 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 the sampler and i really it's funny because at first this paper i wasn't super excited about it to be very honest with you but now like many things once you start playing with it and seeing it on projects i, I have like really fallen in love with it so with that being said i have to show you guys a couple more i've got my swaps oop but hold on i gotta grab a sip of water um i got my swaps back um Maybe, I don't know when it was, but I'm gonna show you guys a few of them. So this one, here's more of that. Oh, it's the organdy ribbon, the Celebration organdy ribbon. And then this is one of the cute little tags. I think these are from, um, oh, I even looked it up too. Is it the How Sweet It Is suite of products? These cute little tags and then that Sweets For You with the little gingham, um, the gingham garden or gingham gala i keep calling it wrong but those little sequins and then the gingham garden designer series paper and i love this how it's like a circle punch or framelit that you just put you know you kind of score it and put half on one side and half on the other and yes you're right it is a very nice gift to give and to inspire and i haven't even really opened it up yet because um i don't know if i'm gonna be able to let's see I'm curious though how she made. So this was kind of a, the gal that organizes our swaps always sends us a cute little thank you project. And this is the one that she sent us this month. And I was gonna, because all, all the rest of my swaps are um, cards, but she always sends a cute little, it's generally like a little treat or like a little 3D project. So I really want to kind of show you guys how I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably be pulling this thing apart so I can figure out exactly how she did it, right? But that kind of is tucked. Oh, I see. That's all. Oh, oh, all right. It's all stuck. I thought that was just tucked in there, but the ribbon, I think, is kind of holding it all. Okay, well, let's, without hurting anything, huh, I feel like it's kind of, oh, she's got it all looped around. Hmm. I was like, why isn't this coming apart? I think that's kind of why. Okay. I wanted you guys to see, oh man, she really looped that in there. But can you guys kind of, I thought I was just gonna be able to open that up. All right, Carol, you got tricky on me. Okay, so here, it's like a little bag. There, now you can kind of see it, right? Oh, look at that. Oh, how cool is that? All right, we're gonna have to figure this out. So it looks like a piece of six by six designer series paper. Let's see, let me grab my grid paper, I'm sure. Yep, yep, it's six by six. So she just scored it at two, well, at three. Mm. Oh my gosh, guys, sorry. <laughs> three at one and a half, that's what it is. So she scored it at one and a half on each end and then did some more scoring in here to make, look at that, it's like a mouth. Wah, wah. <laughs> or it's like a cute little treat pocket. That is so cute. All right, we're gonna figure this out, ladies. I'm gonna show you guys one of these days how to make that, because that's really cute. So you put a little treat in there and then you just fold this up. I, I guess that does make sense. She had to kind of loop it back and forth. I, that's why I thought I, I could open it much more easily. But you could, you could do something a little bit different if you didn't put that flap over the top. You could just run ribbon from the back to the front. Um, anyway, lots of possibilities, but super cute little treat pocket there, right? Sweets for you. Okay, so there's that one. Then these are all of my other swaps that show our gorgeous designer series paper, the Celebration um, Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper. And this Highland Heather is like the huge hit, the perfect color 
that coordinates with so many of um, the patterns in that designer series paper. And let's see, that looks like it is folded like the mini purse. Yes, Karen, that is exactly right, isn't it? It's a cute little mini purse. Yeah, okay, so this is one of the patterns. Here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. Oh, that's from my favorite stamp set. Where is it? The, um, that's another one of our uh, celebration items. The part of my story, I think I showed you guys this last week. Here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. That was the stamp that she used. And that works really perfectly with that punch. And I bet they don't even mention that in the celebration brochure that that punch coordinates so nicely. But it certainly does there, right? Okay, so there's one of them. Let's see. Oh, here's black and white. I, I love that. I know you guys did too. The black and white with a little pop of color there too is, is so popular. Um, I love. And that butterfly punch will punch out those little baby butterflies there too. It doesn't coordinate with any of these butterflies, I know, because that doesn't look quite right. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, here's another one. Thank you for your endless love and support. Now, where's that one from? I don't even know where that sentiment is from. I'm gonna have to find that. That's really pretty though too, and I love, see how they did the colorful butterfly and then the black and white? There's a lot of that going on. Oh, and here's another one. Super simple but the black and white, and then this is from a stamp set that I have that I'm drawing a blank on. Maybe is it the Beauty Abounds? That might be the name of the stamp set, but it's those cute little bubbles or water droplets that we used on a project earlier. The Pretty Butterfly, and then Hello, Strong and Beautiful. Oh, that's the name of it. Okay, thank you, Kim. I have not seen that yet. Thank you for your endless love and support. I love that. Yes, and these cards are beautiful, aren't they? So these are all ideas. I haven't even told you who, if they have the names on the back. So this one was designed by Elizabeth Mayfield Hart. She's a, she's a demonstrator in Little Rock, Arkansas. I love that one. And then this Thank You for Your Endless Support was designed by Holly Sutton at Handcrafted Blessings is where you can find her. And You're My Chosen Family. I forgot to even read that sentiment, didn't I? This one is from Kay Cogbill. Um, she's at papermadeprettier.com. Okay, and then this one, the here's to those of us who inspire us and don't even know it, is Kim's Creative Inklings. Kim Innes is her name. Yeah, okay, so that's a few of them, and I have a couple more to show you guys. Let's see, ooh, ooh, more of this Highland Heather. Isn't this awesome? She did some punching, and actually there's a little, I thought maybe I got something on the card, but it's actually a little butterfly peeking out, and then it says, hello, friend. Isn't that cute? Um, with some little rhinestones. You gotta put a little rhinestone on like the butterfly, right? And this one was designed by Jenna Schultz. These are all beautiful, aren't they? So this was um, a celebration uh, swap that I did. So people used um, celebration products in these swaps. And this one, and it's funny, I'm like, I have to see, because I feel like this is a little bit different fold. We're gonna pull this one out. Oops, we don't wanna lose. This card was designed by Sandy Grimes. Um, let's see, her blog is sandyscreativeconnection.com. And honestly, any of these names, if you just Google Sandy Grimes, her blog is gonna come up. So if I skip over something, just Google these people's names and you'll be able to pull up their blog too. Because obviously they're doing great work and they probably have even more fun ideas on their blog. Oh, okay, so this is, oh, I like this. Oh, how cute is that? I don't think I've made a card like that before. So it's kind of like a half of a card front, right? And then they've got the thank you so very much. And then you can just write a nice little sentiment inside there. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love that. Okay, there's another fun fold idea. There's probably a, a name for that. Someone will probably be able to tell me that, right? So, okay, so I just have to show you. I'm gonna spread them out, show you guys a few each week that hopefully kind of coordinate with the product of the week or with what we have going on in our demonstrations. So, okay, can you guys believe? I think, let me just make sure. Yep, I showed you the sampler. We talked about the product of the week. Oh, and then one more thing just to remind you guys, um, the paper share too. Those RSVPs are coming up, I think it's next Wednesday or Thursday is the last day to RSVP and then I'll get those all cut and shipped out to everybody. But you get a sampler, a quarter of a pack of the Celebration Designer Series paper if you buy that, um, 
the, the occasions catalog paper share. So basically you get a quarter of a pack of all of the paper in the occasions catalog, and then you get a quarter of a pack of the celebration paper for free as a thank you for ordering that um, um, paper share. So, and I'll put a link um, to more details on that. Um, in the comments. And you guys, do you know that too? I'll go back after Facebook Live and I'll add a bunch of comments that give you links to things that I told you about here if I wasn't able to do that on the live. So, you know, there are a bunch of comments, but just look for the ones that I put on there either. And it's funny, sometimes it's Amy Howe for Leachy that comments and sometimes it's Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And I haven't quite figured out how Facebook decides who I am on that day that I post. But anyway, look for either of those and you'll, I'll give the link to the paper share and lots of other things that I've talked about today too. Okay. Um, all right. So, and did I miss, I feel like there was a comment here. Oh, Karen is saying Sandy Grimes card is one of her favorites. Yes. That is so cute, isn't it? I love that fun fold on there. Okay. So I think we are ready to do our stamping. Are you guys ready? And where did my, oh, it is underneath there. I wanna make sure to put this back right here so you guys have that handy. And this is the host code that I said is always at gatheringinspiration.com. So if you can't remember it or can't find it, just go there and you will be able to um, find it. Apparently I'm very chatty today. I just peeked at the clock, but I have so much fun stuff to show you guys, right? So, okay. Um, let me just say this. This is kind of a um, sneak peek, and it wasn't supposed to work out this way, but we are supposed to have bingo this week on Wednesday, this past week, like a couple days ago Wednesday, and we got all this snow and ice, and it was just a total mess. So we decided to reschedule bingo to next week on Wednesday. And I already had it in my plan, what I was gonna show you guys on Facebook Live. So if you're coming to bingo and you don't wanna be, um, you don't want your surprise spoiled, what your treat is gonna be at bingo and one of the cards we're gonna make at bingo, you might wanna stop watching right about now. Either that or this is gonna be a great tutorial so you know exactly how to make this first card that I'm gonna show you when you come to bingo on Wednesday. So with that being said, this is one of the cards I'm gonna show you guys today. Oh my gosh, I love this striped paper. It's funny, I've been on Pinterest and I think I've pinned, I don't know how many cards that use this striped paper. This is the How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper. I think we use that. Um, actually, I know I used it on, the, on a card I did on a YouTube video recently. So I love the paper. And then I used, can you guys see the stitching? We use the um, rectangle framelits because I cannot stop using those. I will tell you guys too, if you have not ordered these yet, if you do, if you order them, I think these um, rectangle framelits are $35. So that meets your minimum $30 order, right? So order those framelits, the rectangle stitch framelits. You're gonna get this project and the other project that I demonstrate. And your name is gonna go in the drawing to win that vibrant basis stamp set. So super easy way to get your minimum $30 order in, right? Bump it up to 50 and you get your free embellishment and that celebration choice. But okay, so let me show you what else do I wanna show you guys. This cute paper. So this is some of the How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper. And the framelits, of course, cut all of these little candy jars out. So let me show you those, right? We've got, and actually I've got, oops, excuse me, the one that I used on my card I put back here, but I think we're gonna use a different one. We might, I'll have to decide. We're going to e either do that tall one or maybe that really wide one. Let's see, I don't know. I'm a little curious to see if that wide one, it might, we might have to try it just and see if it's too big or not. But thank you. I'm glad you guys like this card. Um, actually, I should open that up. They've got some cute little candies, actually four different candies, a little lollipop, this cute little label, and then the larger label, and then some of the, oh my gosh, even more candy. So tons of candy, candy jars, and then some labels. So a really versatile stamp set too, especially with those labels. I love those also. Okay, oh, and then here is the stamp set, the Sweetest Thing stamp set. So make it a sweet celebration, sweets for you, and happy birthday. Oh, Karen, I'm glad you're excited to make this card. <laughs> Good, I'm glad I haven't spoiled anything. And yes, I love those framelits too, Marianne. Yeah, and so then the framelits are gonna cut out probably most all of these images, like there's that label right there and then the little baby label too. So, oh, just a really, really cute, fun, uplifting, bright stamp set and framelit set. Okay, 
let's let's make this card. You guys ready? I'm gonna scoot that out of the way. So we do have a bit of die cutting to do here. So I think I'm gonna grab, we need to do some stamping though too. All right, let's do our stamping and then we have quite a bit of die cutting to do. So we're gonna be as efficient as possible with our die cutting. Um, so I need that frame. Actually, let's not even get those out yet. Okay. Sorry. My never ending quest to get and stay organized. <laughs> Is it the story of everybody else's life too? That you're always like, you know, one step away from total chaos and craziness. <laughs> Okay, so we have my ink colors. I should have probably told you about that. And it's what, um, oop, that's not what I want. Where are my other white pieces? Um, the colors, of course, are in our designer series paper. So we've got Melon Mambo and Coastal Cabana. Coastal Cabana right here, and then Melon Mambo is the other color that we're using. Okay, so we are gonna stamp our happy birthday in Coastal Cabana ink on a little strip. This is just a strip of Whisper White cardstock. You don't need to know measurements on that. You just need a piece to do your stamping to die cut your little oval. And then with my frame piece here, get that inked up well. Press straight down. We did a nice easy tap, tap, tap right when we do our stamping. Yay! Don't you love? So that's a great um, framelit um, kind of outline there too. Okay, so we're going to scoot the ink out of the way so it doesn't get into anything we don't want it in. And we're done with the stamps too, actually. Okay, big shot. Let's do our die cutting now. Okay. Get that in view, right? Okay, so we've got our magnetic platform and our clear cutting pad. Okay, so we're gonna do these. And actually, I'm gonna try to do one Okay, let me show you guys. These are the framelits that we're using out of the rectangle framelits. So we're using the second largest on our white piece. We're gonna do that in a sec. And then this one is the one, two, three, the fourth smallest is what we're gonna cut our designer series paper out of. Um, oh, Karen, you finally found your glitter paper. Oh, that's so funny, let's see. What do you guys, oh, lots of good comments here. Beautiful colors, Kim says. Melon Mambo is one of your favorites. I know, Philomena, and I've kind of forgotten about it since we've had lovely lipstick. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just so glad you found that glimmer paper too, Karen. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna use this framelit. I, want, I just wanna try to do as much die cutting at once as we can, if it'll all fit on here. Okay, so we're gonna do that guy right there. Okay, and then... Let's see, I need that framelit. Oh, it is in here. Okay, so we're gonna pull this guy out of here and put him. And you guys notice, I, I just saw this um, like once I was, oops, we got more comments. Okay, um, once I was actually working with it, it's kind of a curve here and then like a little point on this end. So just be aware of that. There is kind of a top and a bottom. Oops, you guys can't see that, but that'll be all right, right? I'm going to try to, i got to move my paper. It's being futzy with me. Okay, so we've got that one. And then I need my ovals. And this is the smallest oval. So these are a mess, but this is the smallest straight edge oval in my oval collection or layering oval framelits, whatever it's called. I always call it the wrong thing, but you guys know the oval framelits. Okay, so we've got all of those on there. We are gonna put this guy in here and crank in our handle. Oops. Oh, it's funny that those big um, rectangles, they really make things kind of pop when you put them through there. I think it's because they're so big. Okay, so we've got our happy birthday. <laughs> yes, it's much easier to use the framelits, isn't it? Yeah. So there, and can you guys see the little stitching around the edges of that too, right? Okay, so we got that one. We need this again. We do not need that. Sorry, things are like, that might have moved just a little bit, but I think it's gonna be all right. It's good enough for what we're doing here. Okay, so now, let's see. I think we're gonna have to do two more cranks. So this is just a piece of white cardstock that is gonna be big enough to hold 
that second largest rectangle framelit. Okay, so we're gonna do this one and then we have one more round of things to run through here. So this is just a background piece, but it adds that little bit of detail around there as well. Sorry guys, I had another text, I had to swipe it away. Okay, so now we need one more. We're gonna die cut this guy with that same framelit, the fourth smallest, and then, so you can see this framelit is gonna coordinate perfectly. Actually, I should do this one first, shouldn't I? Get this guy on here, and hopefully he doesn't move on me, or much, right, so you know, okay. And let's see, we gotta move that guy just a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. My, my paper keeps, or the framelit, sorry, keeps moving, but I think we're good. You just wanna make sure not to be over the edge there either. So I think I wanna move my paper a little bit more, but we're still all good there. And the other jar has not, oh, now it moved as I went to put my paper or my other piece on top there. Okay, there we go. So there is a bit of die cutting, but once you get everything all die cut, you are ready to go here. Okay, let's pop these guys out. That one there. And then look at how fun and simple that is to die cut. Love that, huh? Very nice and handy. Okay, we're gonna scoot the big shot out of the way because I think we do need it for our other project too. And, okay, so measurements Really, all you need to know, I think, is this card base. Melon Mambo cardstock that measures our eight and a half by 11. We cut it in half along the eight inch side at the four and a quarter inches, right? And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it in half at our five and a half inch mark for our always nice crisp fold on our card, right? Um, so Kim, these framelits are, it's not from Amazing Life, it's from, um, let me show you, because I'm, I'm thinking, I'm calling it the right, I'm gonna flip, oh, here it is, right here, yep. It's, this is all from the House Suite, it is Suite on page 14 in the Occasions catalog. So we've got that stamp set, the sweetest thing that I showed you. This is the designer series paper, the House Suite it is, and then the framelits are called the Jar of Sweets Framelits dies. If you can see right there in the corner. And again, how I was showing you guys before, do you see how these are all kind of whited out? They coordinate with the jar of sweet framelits that are right there, right? So that's telling you that those things can all be die cut with the framelits, okay? Yeah, so pages 14 and 15, that's where the whole suite, all of these products are basically from that page. Okay, so I think we are ready to put things together. I'm gonna make sure I have my dimensionals handy here. And let's see. <clears throat> okay, I think I have it all. <laughs> all right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we are gonna put some adhesive on the back of our rectangle, our stitched piece, adds that nice little detail. So instead of just kind of a plain white piece of paper, and there is one larger framelit still that you could use so it would almost cover the entire card, right? Then we are gonna put some adhesive on the back. Oh, and these are fun too. You guys can see the other print on the back of the designer series paper that we are using, right? Oh, and Karen is saying the detail on all of the stitch framelits makes such a difference. Yes, they look so finished, you're right. Yes, exactly, Miss Karen. Okay, so we're gonna put adhesive on the back of these. Let's see, we're gonna turn that one that way. So I'm gonna put that one maybe right about there. And this doesn't have to be perfect. You just kind of put it where you like it to go, right? So maybe right about there. We're gonna press down firmly. Now we are gonna tie our bow around our card. So this is some of the Whisper White. It's a sheer ribbon, very kind of narrow, I'm gonna say, an eighth of an inch wide is probably about what we're looking at. And okay, so we're gonna make our bow here. Popping this guy. 
I'm trying to keep it tight. Okay. And I just kind of keep my finger right on the knot to pull it tight. I kind of pull on those bunny ears again. It makes it look kind of funny, but you can always trim it, make it look good later, right? So we're going to trim that one. We're going to trim that guy down, okay? And we're going to scoot our bow over maybe just a little bit, right? And then, let's see, we need some dimensionals on the back of all of these things, okay? So on our little label and on the back of our candy jar and then I'm going to use a couple of my little dimensionals, my mini dimensionals on the back of my sentiment. Okay, so we're going to just peel these guys off. We're going to put this one, I kind of put it right about, oops, I like that point to go down, so I'm going to spin that around. We're going to put that guy maybe right about there, okay? And then our little happy birthday sentiment. Who wouldn't love to get this cute card, huh, for their birthday? Such a good one. Okay, putting our happy birthday right about there. Okay, and then our candy jar. And let's see. Oh yeah, that one looks good. It's just a little bit bigger, adds a little bit more detail. So everyone is gonna look a little bit different. That's what's gonna be kind of fun about this too. Then the last thing I did was I added some of, and it's funny because these are, what are these called? These are the glitter enamel dots. If you can see, we've got Coastal Cabana, I think that's Granny Apple Green. This is supposed to be lovely lipstick and gorgeous grape, but this lovely lipstick I thought actually worked really well, um, kind of as Melon Mambo too. So we're just gonna put a couple of these around on our card. I just kinda, it's almost like I just sprinkled them. Oops, I need my take your pick tool. Maybe one right there, and then I had to do a purple one too, one of these gorgeous grape. Let's see, that one looks like it's kind of moving. So where, maybe I'll put that one. Yeah, you just kind of put them wherever you want. Just sprinkle them around on your card a little bit. Oh, yes, yeah, so you like, Marianne is saying, that little label really adds to the candy shop feel. Yes, uh -huh. a smile card for sure. Oh, that's cute. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that one. So that is one of the projects you'll get for free with a $30 order. Make sure to use that host code, right? Let me scoot that up out of the way, right? The CJF Guvat. Okay, so you'll get this card. And then you guys want to see the other project? Let me get these things out of the way so I because otherwise I'll start reaching for something that I don't need on this project that we're gonna do next okay so this is another this is I always love to make little treats kind of a little gift for everybody that comes to bingo so this is the box that we are gonna be making I'm gonna show you guys how to do this and I had to use another one of the fun sentiments from that what is the name of it again? The Part of My Story stamp set, right? The celebration stamp set that you can get free with that $50 order. It says, the world needs more people like you. And I love that, right? Uh, oh, and then I have to show you guys. So this is the fun little box. You kind of open it up here. And then I had to put some, I put Valentine candy in there because that's what you can find right now. Easter candy would be perfect in here too. This is very kind of Eastery colors as well. But let me show you guys how we're gonna make that fun box, okay? Um, is there anything else you guys need to know about? Well, I did use the Butterfly Gala stamp set and I'm gonna show you. I actually, so for example, this stamp, they're together on one um, piece here, basically. So can you see both of those? This is all attached so that when you stamp with it, because it coordinates with the butterfly punch, can you guys see that? I actually, for my purposes, I cut my small butterfly off um, because I wanted to just stamp with my big butterfly on the box itself. You can kind of see it, but I'll show you when we make it. But that's the other product that we use was the Butterfly Gala stamp set and then that coordinating butterfly punch that like I said, after I made this project, I'm pretty sure this is the one that if you haven't gotten it yet, you're gonna have to hold off for a little while. I think they said mid-March it's gonna be available again, but um, it's also gonna carry over, they told us, into the next catalog too. So you'll have opportunity for a while to get this butterfly punch 
if you have not ordered it. You know, if you weren't one of those first people that apparently ordered so many of them, we sold out, sold them out. Okay, so let's see. You guys do need to know measurements and information for this one. Okay, so let me get my notes. Oh, I don't want you guys to see my notes though. <laughs> my scribbly handwriting. We are gonna start with our envelope punch board and I dropped a piece of cardstock, so I have to bend way over and pick it up. <laughs> Ladies, we did burpees today at workout class and it, they always hurt my low back, so it's hard to bend over for a while after I get done with that class. I'm like feeling so old sometimes. Okay, so this is a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. Oh, let's see, what are you guys asking? How do you, Kim wants to know how I like the cling stamps. Um, they are great. I actually, honestly, this is probably one of them. <laughs> I've not been one that ever really cared whether I had the label on the back here or not, so I tried it just so I would know how they worked. Um, but I've been kind of lazy and haven't been putting them on any <laughs> of my stamps. Like I said, I did in the very beginning. The big thing you guys have to know is if you put the labels on the back of these, you can't peel it off. Just like I did there, you have to very carefully, and you kind of have to get your fingernail like underneath the label because what is going to happen if you just rip it off, you're going to rip like part of the stamp off and you're going to leave some of that foam still stuck on your clear block. So part of that is why I don't use them too, because I want to just be able to rip them on and off. Um, but if you really want to see, you know, I just have to do a quick double check and make sure am I right side up or upside down since I don't have my label on there. But that's just me. Um, I never really cared whether I had the labels or not anyway, so I probably won't be putting mine on. But that word of caution, you have to be careful. And if you're pulling and it feels like it's kind of pulling the stamp apart, go to the other side and dig your fingernail under that one and pull it up with the label just to be safe because you don't want to ruin your stamps. Stampin' Up! would replace them, but you know if you start doing it a lot, that would be a problem. But they're super sticky, so you have to be careful when you take them on and off. And let's see, I feel like maybe there was another question or comment there too. Oh, Karen, you want to know what the circle is made from probably on this box. I'm going to tell you guys about that in just a sec, okay? So bear with me. I think, let me just verify, yep, this is a piece of six and one quarter by six and one quarter inch Daffodil Delight cardstock. So I've got my envelope punch board and I am going to punch and score this at two and five eighths. So we're going to punch and score and I'm going to score it one more time. And then you're going to scoot it along and you're going to punch it at three and five eighths. Same thing. So we're going to punch and score. Okay. Now, technically, since this is a perfect square, we should be able to line this back up along this mark and it should get us back to two and five eighths an inch again, which it does. And let's see. Oh, Karen is saying, I really love them. I like them better than any of the others. They have them. They have the best of both. Are you talking about the framelits that we're using with all the different stitching on them? Oops, there we go. Okay. So over to three and five eighths and punch and score again. Sorry, I probably, it's one of those, I have to concentrate, maybe not look at comments just for a sec. So two and five eighths and three and five eighths, with, which again, that little score guide lines up with the score mark because it's square. This is only because it's square that you're going back around to two and five eighths and three and five eighths each time. If it were more rectangular, you'd just line up with these score marks and you wouldn't worry about the numbers okay so punching and scoring and then i'm going to say this is going to be the top of my box so i want to do a little corner rounder on that so you guys can see how i rounded it but i kept these um not they're not rounded right okay so that's all we need to do for the box we are also going to do our stamping so i'm going to move this guy up out of the way a little bit so this is what i was talking about i cut my stamps and you can do that you can see, do you see that little thing right there? So, and actually on those two, you can kind of see. So this will fit right back together if you want to stamp them together, because if you stamp them together, then when you punch them, they're lined up perfectly, right? But I didn't want one butterfly on top of another when I was stamping on here. So that's why I pulled those apart. Okay, so with our Daffodil Delight ink, I am gonna just kind of ink up 
and stamp kind of all over. And this can be very random. There's really no rhyme or reason to this. Okay, and this is going to be the front of my box. So I want them to be facing the right direction on the front of my box. It was probably my only concern, right? So we're just adding a little bit of ink all over on those guys, right? One more, maybe right there. Okay, so that is sufficiently stamped all over the place, right? We are also going to stamp on this guy right here. And I'm actually, I'm gonna ink that up fully. I'm gonna stamp it off because I just want kind of a background. That's still dark enough for me. And let's see, oh, oh, Karen's talking about that you really love the cling stamps. Good, I'm glad. Because I haven't really asked, to be very honest, too many people how they're feeling about them. So I'm glad you are enjoying them. Okay, so this is Highland Heather ink with our The World Needs More People Like You stamp, okay? And actually one more thing, I'm gonna grab my little strip here and my little baby butterfly. And I'm gonna stamp him right there so I can punch him out too. Okay, so I think we have done all of our stamping. Okay, so I think I said that right. Daffodil Delight and Highland Heather are my colors that we're using here. Okay, scoot those guys out of the way. All right, so this we're gonna die cut. This we can punch. Do I dare? No, I'm gonna hold off. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna lose that little baby butterfly. Okay, let's do our die cutting, and then I'll show you how to put the box together. So this one right here, is the stitched label framelits. Karen, this is what you were asking about, I think. So these have a bunch of awesome labels. There's this one that you may remember. These came out in the annual catalog. And then they've got some other detail that you can, I don't know actually if it's die cutting or stitching now that I say that. And then some other little labels, little, medium, and larger with detail labels, a little circle. And then the one that we are actually using is back here. So this is the one that we're gonna use, again, from the stitched label framelits. That's gonna go right on there. And then I have one of the scallop edged circles, and I think I figured out last night, one, two, three, this is the fourth smallest scallop edge in that one. Okay, so let's die cut these guys. Scoot this out of the way. Okay, so we only have a little bit of big shot work to do on this one. Okay. Here we go. All right, so there's our circle, scallop edge circle. Got some little bits on there. I can always see those things, and I think you guys can too, and you probably can't, so I probably should just leave them alone, but they bug me, so I gotta clean them off. Okay, so that just barely fits around there, right? Okay, oh, and Karen, you have these, huh? Very good, yeah. These are a set of framelits, those stitched label framelits that I used a little bit, but every time I make a project, I'm like, ooh, I wonder if I can use those cute little stitched label framelits again, because I love them. And I'm gonna use them all the time. So I have been doing more of it. Okay, so there's our little circle, and then there's this guy. He just pops right out. So isn't that awesome? Can you see? It did the stitching and then that fun little detail around there too. So love that one too. All right. Scoop the big shot out of the way. And, all right, I think I can trust myself to do my punch now. So I'm gonna do my little butterfly. So it goes in backwards, kind of upside down. And can you guys see, I'm gonna just line him up and pop him in. You get some other bits out of the top or bottom of that too. And that's just how that goes. Okay, so. Mm, you know what? Let's make our label right now so I don't lose anything. I don't know why I'm so concerned today about losing things, but I am. Okay, so we're going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back of this little white guy. Our sentiment, the world needs more people like you. Okay, put that guy there. And then with my little butterfly, I'm going to pop him up on a dimensional, a little mini dimensional also. Okay, and... We're gonna put that guy maybe right about there. Okay, so that's good there. Now, to make our box, right? Where's my top? Here's my top, because I want that rounded. Okay, so we're just gonna score, or kind of fold 
along all of those score lines. And then we're gonna do a little bit of cutting. <laughs> I need to get those magnetic sheets, I know. The problem is we have so many of them, Karen. Um, I started in the beginning doing that and then I stopped because I didn't have enough magnetic sheets to organize everything. So, okay, along this, we do not need this little tab at all right here. So, if you guys, can you see that score line? We're just going to cut these off entirely because they just get in the way. It makes it hard to fold our box together. So, we're going to cut those, the top ones off, right? So, where I corner rounded, that's going to be my top flap. So, I got rid of those entirely. And then on the bottom, I'm just going to cut up. Don't cut them off but just we want that to flap in like that on both sides, okay? So those are gonna flap in there. The idea is that we are going to, I think I liked it like this. I'm gonna fold the top or the bottom in and then one side and the other side is how it's gonna go, okay? So I am still using my Fast Fuse because I still have some. If you don't have Fast Fuse, grab your tear and tape. You're gonna want something stronger than a snail to put this together because the snail's not going to hold this 3D kind of a thing. So I'm folding these little flaps. I want those to go in and then I want to make sure that this stays straight along here. So you don't want to push in too far because then it would make kind of like a lopsided box. And if you line up alongside there, that is helpful too. Now I am going to add a little bit more because I've got some adhesive right there. Ooh. Oh boy, I didn't flick my wrist. There, that worked. Okay. All right, and then the other side. And again, you just don't wanna push in too far so your box is funny, right? Oops, I'm trying to make sure I'm not pushing. Yeah, that looks pretty straight, doesn't it? And then I like to just kind of fold it over or turn it over and then just rub my hands inside there to get it nicely glued down. And then this flap is just going to go right inside there like that, right? You put your candy inside, obviously, then fold that flap down. Now, I have this designer series paper, and I, I needed a longer belly band because I need about an eight inch long belly band because this box measures about three and a quarter inches, plus you've got another half to three quarters of an inch around there. But this designer series paper only comes in six inch wide. So I had to, I did six inches and then this is three inches. So I've kind of got a nine inch belly band, but I'll show you. I'm gonna put some fast fuse on this thing and I'm gonna make sure that this is lined up. It looks like I need to go that way. And I just want to, I want it to look like it's kind of all one piece if I can. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna help make that happen, okay? So rubbing there. Right now, that seam, this is the front of my box. So I want that to go back here. So can you see that little seam? Mm, actually, nope, I want it right. Isn't that funny? Now I'm like, how did I do that? I just did it before we got on the live too, so I would have it set. Hmm, something doesn't seem like I had it before, but I think we're gonna be, that would be okay, even on the side too. I had it back around there but that's gonna go too long on the back. I don't know, something doesn't seem quite right to me, ladies, but okay, that's all right. We're gonna put it right there. I just didn't want that seam right up on the front there was my main thing, but I think that's gonna work, right? If we go around there, there. Okay, so let me, I'm gonna add my fast fuse right here. And the big thing is I wanna kind of fold those in. I. I do not like to score these things. I used to try to do that. I would try to score it and then fit it on. I think it's easier to kind of pinch along here on the four corners, and then I'll show you my trick, okay? Then to make it really nice and crisp, I take the belly band off, and then I refold or rescore based on where I had kind of scored when I had it on the box. And that makes those really nice, crisp kind of score marks along there, okay? Where's my top? There's my top. Okay, so then, and actually I'm gonna go this way because I'm gonna cover up that seam on the front with my little label sentiment, okay? 
So that just slides right on there like that, okay? So that's pretty easy, right, to put that on. Now we need our, this is the Daffodil Delight Organdy Ribbon. Don't love this too much, or maybe you already have some, or you're gonna make sure to get it in March when it becomes available. And it could be sooner, you never know. It could be later though too. So we're just tying our bow around the box. Okay, today, there we go. Okay. It's a little bit harder to tie a bow on the box because you don't want to push too hard and like smush your box, right? Okay, I just always have to futz with those a little bit to get it tight enough too. Okay, so there's that. We're going to scoot that baby right over there like that. And then we're just going to put a couple more dimensionals. Where are those? Right on here. Okay, oops, there we go. <laughs> They're sticking to everything. Me and themselves, okay. So there, I just wanna line that up so that covers up that seam so you don't even know that's there, right? And then the one last little step, here's my handy organization of my Gingham Gala sequins. I, I like to have them be able to move around a little bit because they kind of tend to get like stuck into each other. So these are, I think they call them blue, like balmy blue, but I think they look really kind of iridescent. So I just used, and I do have my take your pick tool right here. So I just used one of the regular sequins, kind of get underneath there to get that glue dot. And I just put a little sequin right in the center of my butterfly. And then I got to make him flap his wings a little bit. So there you go. That is it. A cute little box that this one already has little chocolates in. So I hope you guys enjoyed these projects. I love making these little treat boxes. I'm having so much fun with that. This would be great for Easter too. Know what you guys think, right? So, okay, again, quick recap. Make sure if you guys liked the projects, if you want to make any of these, I am putting the item codes for everything we used on this project and on our card in my blog post. So the blog post always posts, well, sometimes it's Friday, sometimes it's not till Saturday, but anyway, check gatheringinspiration.com. The blog post there tells you measurements of everything and item codes for everything that we use to make these projects. So it's a quick, easy reference if you'd like to order, right? And then if you're ready to order, when you put that $30 order in, use the host code, the CJF Guvat, you get these two projects that I demonstrated today. And your name goes in the drawing to win the Vibrant Vases stamp set. Yay! And then bump your order up to $50. You get that free celebration item, like maybe the part of my story stamp set, which is awesome. And you also get a free embellishment from me. So thank you guys. I love that you hung with me. I know that I kind of was a little long-winded today. You just never know how it's going to go. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm just so glad and thankful that you guys liked and enjoyed these projects. We will see you next Friday. Have a great weekend. I hope you were inspired. Bye, everybody.